Okay, so first I'm just gonna go. Ooh. Okay, so first I'm gonna be starting. Whoa, what are my hands just I was like, ooh. Okay. Oh my god. It is so hot in here. I'm literally like sweating so bad. <sighs> okay, so first I'm going to be starting off with my Matte and Poreless Maybelline Fit Me Foundation on my beauty sponge from. What are they even called? Oh. <laughs> Real techniques that kind of looks dirty, but never mind that. So yeah, I'm just gonna be taking this foundation onto my little beauty sponge. Damp beauty sponge, actually. And I'm just going to blend this all over my face. I've been loving this foundation recently because I have very oily skin and since this foundation is matte it works out very well for me and blends into my skin so nicely and I love it so much okay so now I'm gonna be taking my NYX above and beyond concealer little pot in the color what color is this beige I'm just taking this um, small concealer brush that I got who knows where I don't even remember honestly it doesn't have a brand name or anything on it I don't remember for the life of me where I got this I don't know but I'm just gonna be highlighting my face I'm starting with under my eyes and then I'm also gonna be taking some of it on my forehead and then the bridge of my nose and if I keep looking over here I have a mirror right over here so I'm not like looking off into the distance or anything And then I'm going back in with this beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so now I am taking this e.l.f. baked bronzer in the color, what color is this? Los Cabos, I don't know how to say that. Um, I bought this a while back and I loved it so much. I use it like every day and I don't know why, but for some reason I just kind of stopped using it. And I started using it again the other day and I realized why I loved it, so, or I remembered why I loved it so much, yeah. And anyways, I'm just taking this really big bronzing a brush and I'm just going to take this into the contours of my cheeks and the sides of my head and the temples and I'm just not contouring I'm just focusing more on bronzing my face also down here under my jawline now I like to take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow kit, and there's a um, powder in here that's meant to be for your eyebrows to make it stay longer, I guess, but I've never really used it like that. I like to use it as a contour shade. It, like With my skin tone, it is like the perfect contour shade, and so I use it to contour like all the time. I'm pretty sure I've done it in a couple of videos too. But I'm taking one of my favorite brushes that I just I've used in so many videos and I know I should probably change to a different one but I just love this one so much. I got it in my Ipsy bag a few months ago. Um, it's just this large angle Brux. Brux. 
It's this large angled brush from Lexi and I just like to take it in that powder and then I'm just going to take this into the contours of my cheeks. It's a little bit darker than the bronzer that I was just using and so it kind of contours more instead of bronzing. So I just like to take it into the contours of my cheek, cheeks just to kind of darken that up some more to give me more of a contour. And then I will also take it just a little bit in my temples. Now I'm taking just this fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take it in that powder. And I just like to lightly contour my nose. I just run it down the sides and then kind of bring it right here. Okay, and now I'm taking this um, big powder brush from Mary Kay into my, what's it called, translucent setting powder, also from Mary Kay. And I just like to take this everywhere where I put um, my concealer just to set that so it won't crease because again I do have oily skin and my concealer does tend to crease and I don't want that so I'm just going to put that where I put the concealer. <laughs> so now I'm taking this blush and highlighting duo that I just got a few days ago and I've been obsessed with. Um, it has this really pretty bright pink blush and this really pretty pinky tone highlighter. I've been obsessed with it. So I'm just taking this big fluffy brush that I used earlier for my bronzer and I am going to take it in the blush. And this blush is so pigmented and so you just have like one tap and you still have to tap some off like it's so pretty so pretty I love it on my skin tone if you have like a darker skin tone like I do this will look awesome on you even if you're fair skinned I think this will look really really good on you so yeah I'm just gonna take this onto the apples of my cheeks now I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. fan brush into the highlighter, which is also very pigmented and pretty. And I'm just going to take that right above the blush on top of my cheekbones. And then also bring some above the arch on my eyebrows. And then I'll brush just a little bit on my nose and my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows real quick. I'm also going to be filming a eyebrow routine for like how I grew my eyebrows and how I filled them in and all that jazz. So I will link that down below so you can go check that out. Wink, wink. Good at winking, but yeah, you should go check it out. All right, so I just filmed my eyebrow routine. So if you notice that I'm wearing like the same thing in like two different videos, it's because I filmed them in the same day, obviously. So yeah, I will make sure to link that below so you can see how I do my eyebrows. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get started with I'm like talking so much with my hands. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get started with my I make up. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my e.l.f. concealer brush in the same NYX concealer that I used earlier and I'm just going to put this on for all over my eyelid and then I will just take my ring finger to blend that all in. Now I'm just taking a simple eyeshadow brush in this single eyeshadow from Wet n Wild in the color 
I don't know what color this is, honestly. I think I ripped the sticker off that said what color it was, but it's just this nice matte beige type color that matches my concealer. And I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid just to set that concealer so it doesn't crease. Now I'm taking my Naked 3 palette and I'm going to be taking this fluffy bending brush that came with the palette and I really like it so I'm going to use it. And I'm taking, what am I taking, oh yeah, first I'm just going to take the color Limit, uh, rock her, am I getting it? Yeah, right here. And. I'm just going to start by blending that into my crease. Now I'm taking the color oh, Nooner. Nooner, can you even see that? Nooner. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to take that. And I'm also going to blend that into the crease just to darken it up a little bit. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite transition colors of all time. It's so pretty. I'm just going in with a little, I don't know, simple eyeshadow brush that I used earlier. And I'm going to be taking, I'm just going to mix the color Dust and Burnout, these two colors right here. But her. I'm just going to kind of mix those two colors together. And I will just pack those onto my lid. Now I'm going in with my glitter eyeliner from Stila in the color Kitten and this is like one of the prettiest glitter liners of all time. Like I love it so much and I use it as much as possible. I just, I love it. It's so pretty. I'm going to just put that on my lid. And then I will just kind of take my finger and just kind of pat that all over my lid. See, is that not just so pretty? I love it so much. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy blending brush I was using earlier. And I'm going to be mixing these two colors, Black Heart and Dark Side. The two darkest colors in the palette. I'm just going to mix those together. And then I'm going to start defining my crease a little bit more. And I'll focus these more on the outer edge of my crease. And now I'm just going to go in with this uh, small Eco Tools little, I don't know what you want to call it, it's like a highlighting brush I guess. And I'm just taking it into Strange. 
And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with that. And now I'm taking this fluffy blending brush one last time. I'm taking it into this color Buzz. Yeah, this color. And I'm lightly taking that color and I'm just going to lightly blend it into my crease just to give it more of that rosy gold color. And it will also help just to blend everything together. Now I'm taking this dual ended um, eyeshadow brush. I'm going to be taking it's from Crown, I guess. I've never really heard of them before. I just got this brush in an Ipsy bag um, a few months ago. And so I'm just taking this side first. It's like a pencil brush, I guess. And I'm taking it in the color dark side right here. And I'm just going to take this uh, and I'm just going to darken up my lower lash line with that. Now I'm just going to be taking my wispy, sweet, nothing lower lashes and I'm just going to be applying these. I'm just using this Salon Perfect Glue. I think you can get it from Walmart. I think that's where I got it. So yeah, I'm just going to apply those real quick and I'll be back. I'm going to be taking my Lorac Pro Mascara in black. And I'm just going, I was, you're supposed to put on mascara before, but I kind of forgot. So I'm just going to put it on after. I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara just to blend my natural lashes with the false lashes. I'm just going to put on some mascara to my bottom lashes. And now I'm done with my eyes. And so now what I'm going to do for my lips is I am taking this sample lip liner from Mary Kay in what color is this? In chocolate. And I've been obsessed with this. This is only a sample, but. Since I got this sample, I've been obsessed with it, and I'm going to buy the full size. And so, yeah, I'm just going to line my lips with this. Now once I've lined and filled in my lips with that, I'm going in with a NYX lipstick in the color Thalia, which is a really pretty dark um, nude type color. And I'm just going to focus this more on the center of my lips. And yes, so that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys really like this. I love it. I've been obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with the lashes. I'm obsessed with the Naked 3 palette. I know it came out like forever ago, but I'm still obsessed with it. And I, I just love rose gold tones. And I don't know, I just, I was really excited about filming this makeup tutorial. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. So yeah, um, be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and yeah so see you next time